No extra depth on why an upcoming movie about a comic book superhero who lives here in El Paso, Texas, is generating some controversy. People were excited when DC Comics announced it was turning Blue Beetle into a movie. A teaser trailer for the film was just dropped today, but some people are disappointed because there's something missing from the trailer. ABC 7 Sarah Coria has extra perspective from El Pasoans and joins us now live. Sarah. Well, Stephanie, El Paso comic book fans I spoke to were excited to see some representation in film. They were particularly excited for a superhero to be based in El Paso. However, the movie takes place in a fictional city. That feels misrepresented. I didn't see glimpses of El Paso in the trailer. Uh, El Paso is a desert, uh, it's a Chihuahua desert. And I saw beaches and the ocean. I think the removal of El Paso kind of diminishes his identity. What's going on? The trailer for the newest DC superhero movie just dropped. The Blue Beetle superhero is based off a comic book of a character named Jaime Reyes. In the comic, he lives with his family in El Paso. I love Blue Beetle in the aspect that he's from El Paso. Um, I myself am from El Paso as well, so it's great to see Latino representation. But the trailer revealed the movie would take place in a fictional city. I'm a bit disappointed with the setting. Um, I think that's a big part of who he is and him becoming a superhero. I'm, I'm not the least bit surprised. Valentino Sandoval sold artwork from his gallery to the director to be used in the Blue Beetle. So it was awesome, you know, everybody's excited in town and, and it was a great press opportunity for El Paso, you know, to get some positive, you know, um, PR. He believes the choice to re-envision El Paso for the movie was beyond the director's choice. And I'm sure there's a lot of decision makers and, and situations that went into that. I don't necessarily think it was the director's choice, like, oh, I'm going to not do El Paso, instead I'm going to change the course of comic book history and make it something else. Sandoval says he met the director when he came to research El Paso for the film. I, I met the director. They, they came here when, and, and a research project when they were in pre-production which is preparation for the movie itself. Sandoval says the director had genuine interest in making the film authentic to the city. He went to go hang out over here on Montana Street, and he was really, you know, intrigued by the communal sense of, of a border desert town of El Paso. And, and so, you know, so I, I, I know it was a positive on his end. Still, some people are excited for the debut. Other than that, I think that the, the, the trailer was pretty good in my opinion. But overall, I'm excited to see what they do uh, with the movie adaptation of it. The Blue Beetle's theatrical release date is this summer, August 18th. Sarah Coria, ABC7. All right, Sarah, thank you.